but it's, you're, it's so ingrained in terms of once you point a camera at somebody, just say smile, all, you know, all of a sudden you're not thinking, yeah. is that they can now identify this agent as being directly linked with exposure in smokers that leads to this P53 uh, mutation that helps to then explain the mechanism whereby lung cancer uh, takes place as a result of cigarette smoking. So in, in that context, it is a step forward in terms of at least underlying medically or clinically how the disease process takes place. Yes, that's correct. what happens in the courts. Now, Philip Morris um, just asked the North Carolina District Court. They know the causal connections there. Now they're looking at the, like looking under a microscope, how has this actually happened? Um, and it just reinforces uh, the thousands of studies that already have been done in a much more detailed way. I think it's rather significant from the standpoint that we, for years we've heard the industry say that the, the uh, causal connection has not been established. Uh, we know it's been established, and this study just does it one more time in a very deliberate, uh, definitive way. If, if it turns out, if those changes occur predominantly or only in smokers, then I think this will make a difference. What's unclear from the articles is whether or not those changes occur are also present in people who don't smoke who develop lung cancer. Now, if it turns out that they're unique or almost unique to smokers, then I think it's gonna, it might be some ammunition for people who claim they've been harmed by environmental tobacco smoke. But if it's just a general, if, if those lesions are found in all people who have in, uh, lung cancer and never smoked, then I don't think it's going to make much difference. But that's the promise of the research rather than the reality. And, you know, we could be years or decades uh, away from actually developing something to where you can actually put it into practical use. And I think from a, uh, from a health standpoint, that's something that, we, that people have to keep in mind, is that this is not a breakthrough in terms of either earlier diagnosis or treatment just yet. We're probably years away from that.